if you're going to build a helicopter, hallelujah, <laughs> there's about 450 to 500 hours worth of labor between this and this. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get your kit is to get a registration number reserved because that is, I don't know, that does something to a guy because you have picked out a registration number that your very own and it has some significance. The first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the FAA's website. We're going to show you the actual address at the bottom of the screen or you can do it the stupid way which is the way I do it. On the home page of the FAA's website there is a little place where you can search in number and I usually just put some stupid number in there and hit enter. It will bring you to a screen that has on the left hand side an option to search for available in numbers. And then you do just that. You put in the whatever following letters you want, if there are following letters that you want to include in your in number. I'm not a big fan of things like golf and hotel. You want to remember how you sound on the radio. You don't want to say golf hotel. You want to say Alpha Zulu or Whiskey Tango or something equally exciting. You don't want to sound like an old poot. <laughs> so pick out something that has some meaning to you and something that you're going to be delighted to say over the radio. Now, that's the silliest part of this whole thing. The rest of it is just information, okay? In order for you to get an in number reserved, you just click reserve online and fill out the form and give them 10 bucks and they'll send you a piece of paper that says this is your in number now. The next thing that you're going to do is at the point in time that you're ready to actually register your helicopter decide whether you've waited till the last minute and you need it done in a hurry. If you do, then you need to use one of the registration companies out in um, Oklahoma City. Apparently there's one on every corner out there. And they'll get it done for you in three or four days. Or you can just send the documents to the FAA and they'll fiddle around and get it done in about 30 or 45 days. Uh, you will need these items in order to get your registration. You're going to have to write them a letter and tell them, I have this in number assigned in my name and I would like to assign it to this aircraft. You're going to need um, their application for registration form, which is 8050-1. Uh, there is an online version of that now. Affidavit of ownership form, 8050-88, and that has to be notarized. You need a kit bill of sale from the manufacturer. It has to be the original. They'll record it and they'll return it to you. If you're registering your aircraft in an LLC, then you're going to need to uh, send them an LLC statement. And you can find this on our website if you can't find it on the FAA. It's on our website under one of the tabs. I don't remember which one. You're going to also have to send them a copy of your filing for the LLC with the Secretary of State. That and I think it's five bucks is what it takes. Throw it in an envelope, mail it to the FAA or mail it to one of the title companies and they will call you and get a credit card number for a hundred to hundred and twenty-five dollars depending on what they charge. You will get back your official FAA registration for your helicopter. Now, bear in mind that when you do that registration, you're going to trigger the letter from your revenue office in your state. If your state charges sales tax on aircraft, you're going to get the letter asking that you fill out the form and send them money. So you may want to wait till you're close to the end before you do that. And that's all there is to it. Yeah.